Hey guys, it's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine, and we're going to continue on with our Christmas crafting tonight. Just say hey once you get on, and um, if you're watching the replay, just tell me hey as well. Um, I'm excited to be back. I've been on a little short vacation with my best friend and my youngest son. So we went to Gatlinburg. Hey guys! We went to Gatlinburg and Pigeon Forge uh, with her family and we had a wonderful time and a wonderful getaway. Let me take this off. Facebook feels the need to tell me that I'm live and I know I'm live. <laughs> so, um, hey Tammy, hey Rhonda. I have missed all of you so very much. I feel like I haven't been on in a long time. Hey Hildy. Um, so yes, we had a wonderful time in Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg. I needed a getaway, I needed a break. And her family were go was going, and they invited us to come tag along. So we drove over there and went to Pigeon Forge in Gatlinburg. So we had a wonderful time. It's beautiful. If you've never been, you need to go. All the Christmas decorations and the lights, and it's just just gorgeous. Everywhere you go, there's Christmas lights and trees, and it's just they have it all so decorated. It's beautiful. Hey Deborah. Hey Teresa. Hey, Kevin. Yes, we had a blast. We had a blast. Um, it's just decorated so pretty for Christmas. Everybody talks about how the mountains in the fall are beautiful, which the trees were still, they still had some leaves on them, but the Christmas, uh, I'm sorry, it'd be hard to beat the Christmas because it's beautiful. The decorations and everywhere you go is decorated. It's gorgeous. <clears throat> hey, Larry and Donna. <laughs> Donna, thank you, Judy, for the stars. Okay, guys, so we're going to get do a craft. This has been on my mind to do for a while. And <clears throat> I was flipping through TikTok the other night and I saw a girl do it. Hey, Colin. Um, I saw a girl do it and I said, okay, I'm going to do this because this is what I've been wanting to do. And I've got a couple of ways we're going to do it. So this is going to be fun. Something else to go on your tree or you can put it in a dough bowl or whatever just to put around on a table. Um, so this is what we're going to do tonight. So you, these are round styrofoam uh disc i guess you would call it um they come from dollar tree and they come two to a pack um so we are going to take this and i've already done one because i gotta have it dry we're going to turn it into this so i'm going to show you how i did it and then we're going to wrap it up like candy okay and then we have a couple of other candies that we're going to make too but i'm going to show you this one first Okay, so what I did was you have to find the center of your circle right here. Hey, Bobby. Hey, Maureen. So I have a piece, just a regular piece of white paper. Um, where is my pencil? Here's my pencil. Okay. Hey, Gwen. Thank you for sprinkling. Um, so I'm just going to take my pencil on, on my paper, and I'm going to trace around and make a circle just like that. Okay. Um, cause I'm trying to find the center of my disc and without you sitting there trying to have a, have to, um, eyeball it and all that stuff. This is the easy way to find the center of a circle. So I just drew a circle on my paper, traced it out and then I'm going to cut out my circle. So you can use this tip on anything really. If you're trying to find the center, okay? So there I have my paper circle, trying to find the center of this circle. Thank you, Teresa. So I'm gonna fold my circle in half, like that. And then I'm gonna fold it in half again. Okay, just like this. So now I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm just gonna snip a very little bitty bit off the, off the end right there. And when I open it back up, that's gonna be my center hole, just like that. So that's your center. So now I'm going to lay it back onto my styrofoam and I'm going to get my Sharpie and I'm going to, um, <laughs> you need that shirt. Y'all like my shirt? It says, I'm fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. And it's a bunch of tangled up Christmas lights. <laughs> it's in my shop. I absolutely love it because that's sometimes that's how we feel like a bunch of tangled up Christmas like it's like I'm fine I'm fine and really you're just a bunch of mess <laughs> okay so I took the little circle in the middle and I just took my sharpie and I made a dot and that's going to tell me exactly where the center is so now I don't have to struggle 
And if you're making a whole bunch of these, this is perfect because then you can find the center of each one and you don't have to worry about, um, well, I don't know why I'm doing that, where the center is on every one. Yes. Trish, when I get offline, uh, when I get off my live, I'm going to put the, uh, the little germs, I'm going to put them back in my shop because I've cut a bunch today and I'm caught up and I am going to... Um, might get a special deal. <laughs> um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to load everything back up from my shop when I finish my live. So there will be stuff there for you to, to go get. Because I know everybody's trying to get um, decorated for Christmas. Bobby, I had a wonderful time. Hey, Mandy. Okay, so now we have our dot. And so all I'm going to do is, you know, peppermint is kind of swirled. So I'm just going to take a, make a line and kind of make a, just a curve with it, okay? So we can have our little... Um, our little uh, swirlies, whatever you want to call them. Okay, so that's what I did. I just kind of arced it to the side. And then I'm going to go a little space over, and I'm going to arc it again. Just like that. And that's just going to be our little guidelines. And if you mess up the first time, just do it again, because we're going to paint, and we're going to put glitter over it, so you're not going to be able to see the lines. Okay, so I got I got two little sections. And you know, try to just kind of eyeball it and make it even. So there's my third one. And then I'm gonna divide this sec this last section, try to do it equal. It is kind of hard. This stuff is bumpy and okay. So there is my little swirl. So I just took, you know, I went from the dot and just kind of curved up. And just kind of went over to the same amount of space on each section. Kind of like a star. So there's that. I did not get something to put my paint on. So I've got to find something in my trash. How about this? The late, back of a label. I'm going to put my, put my uh, paint on that because I didn't get a plate. But it's okay. Hey, Lindy. Okay. So now we are going to take our um hey lisa hey lori um take my red i'm gonna take red paint and you can do whatever color you want to do your peppermint um some peppermints are green i did this one in red and i put little green accents on it you can do it whatever color you want to do so um, i have experimented a couple of ways i i tried painting it with chalk paint i tried painting it with regular paint and i tried putting spackling over it so because the the styrofoam is very porous, this kind is from the Dollar Tree. Hey, Deidre. And I've experimented today with the different types, you know, trying to cover up the holes and stuff. But once you get your glitter and all that on there, you cannot tell that it's real porous, okay? So it doesn't really make a difference. Oh, uh, sending the love from Tennessee. Yeah, I hated to leave them yesterday, but I did. Hated to leave my friend. Yes, I had a nice time. Okay, so here is that. So I'm going to fill in every other space with my red paint. And you want to just kind of get it really filled in and try to get in all the holes. And let me get it started and I'll show you what I'm talking about because it's porous. But like I said, in the end, it's not going to matter because we're going to cover it up with glitter. So I hope y'all have had been okay since I've been away. Um, I didn't get to go live, you know, of course, Friday because of the, we were doing the ornament um, challenge last week, and that was a lot of fun. Lots of talented ladies that did the 2020 ornaments, and that was so much fun. So anyway, so we're going to turn this old piece of styrofoam into peppermint. And I've got some real pretty um, turquoise glitter over here. And I really want to make a turquoise one. Because <laughs> I know that would be so pretty. I went to... Um, it's still in the 30s, Deidre. Oh, goodness. Um, I went to... Okay, so I got that painted. So if you can see, I hold it kind of close. You can see it's porous. And I just tried to get the paint down in there. Um, in the little holes. And now I'm going to skip a section because that's going to be white. And I'm going to do the next section. And we're going to paint it red. 
I did go to Old Time Pottery, and if y'all don't know what Old Time Pottery is, um, it is like a, they have, it's like a big Hobby Lobby almost. They have anything from linens for your bed to florals to seasonal decorations and what have you. They have glassware, all kinds of stuff. It's an awesome store, so if you ever see Old Time Pottery, be sure to go in there. You'll thank me later. <laughs> Your pocketbook won't. Um, but I did go in there and I took like 50 something pictures. I tried two different times to upload it. And all Facebook would tell me was, we'll let you know when your post is ready to, ready to, is posted. And I did it two different times on Saturday and it still has not loaded. So I think I'm going to have to go back and reload all the pictures again. Because in the mountains, you don't have a lot of good signal, but they do, um, they do have 5G up there. But with so many people all converged in one place, it was so um, congested with people um, that it was, you know, wouldn't go through. Now, here's where I've just realized that I have made a boo-boo because I need another section because I have red, white, red, white, red. So I'm gonna, so see, like, just like any, like everybody, I make mistakes. So I'm gonna have to go and split these two. So see what I'm talking about? So I did red, white, red, and then this one will be white, and that one will be red next to that red. So I've got to fix it. Oh, it closed? Oh my goodness. So let me see what I can do with this. So I'm gonna have to, um, make two sections out of this one section because I need that in between. Okay. I fixed it. <laughs> so you should have three red and three white. So I just kind of redrew my lines and made another section. So I don't know why my post wouldn't load. Hey, Frida from Middle Tennessee. I went all the way through, all the way across Tennessee yesterday. Seven hour drive. <laughs> hey, Penny. Now I will say that this does take a while to dry. I did hit it with a heat gun a little bit because I was scared it would melt it. But I just basically set it to the side and let it dry. Um, I did it a few hours ago to get ready for tonight so that one would dry. So I'd be able to wrap it in our little plastic wrap, like just like candy. We're going to do that too. And this is just red, just regular red Anita's paint. Any red would work. Um, Angie, I'm making this peppermint. I've already done this one today. But I'm going. I'm showing you how to do it tonight. So learn from my mistake, guys. You need three white and three red. And see that white's really big. So let me see if I can make it a little smaller by making my red ones a little bigger. So I just did not count my my spaces. Okay. So there's my red and white, and yes, it's not equally proportioned, but it'll be okay. We're not working with perfect. Most peppermints you get don't look perfect anyway, do they? Okay. So now I'm going to, there's my red. So I'm just going to come down here on the edge, and I'm just going to give it a quick coat. And then we're going to cover this bad boy with glitter. Breaking out the glitter, it's Christmas time. Yes, I enjoyed that beautiful part of Tennessee. It is gorgeous. If you've never been, you definitely need to go. It is beautiful, especially this time of the year. The Christmas is, they know how to do Christmas up there for sure. And our cabin was beautiful and it was just, we had a great time. I've been several times, but 
it's just it's just gorgeous at Christmas. I've been in the summer and I've been in the fall. Okay, so I just went ahead and did my sides. You can do the back if you choose, but you probably have to wait till it dried. Um, so let me set my paintbrush. So I've got it. It's not soaked, but it's not just where it'll dry instantly. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my. It's the fun part. My I got a little bitty container of red glitter. I have other glitters. I have Walmart glitter. I have. You know, other little containers of glitter. You use whatever color you have. I don't even know where this came from, to be honest. Um, but then I'm going to put my glitter right on the wet paint. I hope it's not empty. There it goes. It just wasn't going to come out. Now, I did mine over the trash can earlier. <laughs> so, um, but now I'm just doing it over this bucket. This container. It's actually that holds my glitter. Oh, Lori, welcome. Hey, Lou. Okay. Get to where I don't want to come out. I'm trying to keep from having glitter everywhere, but I got my little handy-dandy vacuum over here, which is wonderful for glitter, and I love it. And this is such an easy craft, guys. Y'all can do this, and it's going to make a big impact on your tree or your dough bowls or just sitting on your, you know, entry table or you can hang them from the ceiling because they're very lightweight. I'll probably just poke mine in my tree, my crafty tree that's getting so full. Come on, glitter. Okay, so that was the purpose of us painting it red was so that, you know, the background would be... And I can put a little bit more glitter on there because I see some spots that I kind of missed. Let me get my, it may have dried. When I hold it up to the camera, I can definitely see it for sure. I'll probably have glitter everywhere tonight. When I get off here, I have it on my face. Okay, look how pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? The light really makes it pretty. Okay. So now we're going to do our, our little stripes. See, I did stripes on this one and you could do it red. You could do green, whatever color you want to do. Um, so yeah, you get the disc from the Dollar Tree. They look like this. They come two to a pack. So 50 cents a piece. Um, can't beat it. So I'm, I'm going to go brave and I'm going to do a little turquoise stripe. How about that? <laughs> I saw some ornaments at um, uh, Old Time Pottery that were red and turquoise, and they were gorgeous, y'all. And I did buy a couple. Um, yeah, you could put Mod Podge on it. You could spray hairspray on it. But we're going to wrap it in plastic, so it's really not going to matter. Um, okay, so now you come in between. I just felt like I spit everywhere. You come in between um, the in the middle of the white. And you're just going to kind of make a little line. Because, you know, some peppermints have that extra little stripe. And you kind of want to, you know, get it get it good and saturated, pretty much. Because you got to put the glitter on top. And then I'm going to come off the edge over here. So this time, I think maybe I'll do this. Look at this glitter, y'all. <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. Yeah, super cute in a dough bowl. And we're going to make a couple other shapes, too. Um, just do it a little differently. So, let me... I'm going to reach over here and just sprinkle it on my... Over the container rather than move the whole thing. Because it's not much. Oh, y'all are going to love this. Ooh! And I got it in my red. Uh-oh. <laughs> got it in my red. Look how pretty. See, I got it right there. Wonder if I can fix it. Just gonna put some red paint where I got the blue glitter and I'm gonna fix it. I did really good with my other one earlier. I didn't get, um, I didn't mix my colors. Um, yeah, we're gonna put something over the white. It's some glitter, actual glitter, um, 
where is it? It's this. I'm going to paint my white with this. And it has glitter in it. But you could put white glitter. Um, there's a bunch of... Uh, I just got paint everywhere. There's a bunch of different pretty white. Yeah, turquoise is my jam for sure. Um, boop! Y'all, I'm going to get it on my shirt. <laughs> Have a little dot of glitter on my shirt. So I'm just going to go in between and I just keep going back over it because I want the paint to be, you know, pretty wet so the glitter will stick and I won't have to come back and Mod Podge it. And then I'm just going to come right off the side and then I'm going to get my glitter again. Hey Deidre! Well, I hadn't been on since last Wednesday so you hadn't missed a whole lot because we I was doing a crafty thon. And uh, with a bunch of other ladies, and we did Christmas ornaments. Okay, look how pretty. <laughs> I love the turquoise, it's so pretty. It's gorgeous. That glitter came from Michael's, and it came from the scrapbook section. So it's really fine, fine glitter. Same brand I used on those um, paint stick um, snowflakes that I did. This is not real easy to paint on because you know it doesn't want to take the paint but it's kind of weird okay so I got that stripe on and then I'm gonna dust it with the glitter come on that glitter just makes all the difference in the world let's see Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, I like glitter in it in its in the right setting. But you know, you get that Dollar Tree stuff, and my gosh, it's got glitter. You'll have glitter all over you and all over everything else. Where's my? So this is folk art extreme glitter, and this is called hologram. So I'm just gonna put um, a little on the white, and y'all probably won't be able to see it on the camera. No, we didn't go to Dollywood, um, Rebecca, because we, um, we had tried to, but they're only letting so many people in the gate because, um, because of COVID. So they sell out days and days and days ahead of time. So we didn't get to go because when we called and checked on it, they were like sold out for the next three or four days. So we didn't get to go to Dollywood. So... It should be something that I go and do the next time. Um, the next time I go, I'll go to Dolly. We'll go to Dollywood. So there's so much there to do. It is, it's, it's just insane. Um, at the stuff there is to do, it's crazy. You will not run out of things to do. You may run out of money, but you won't run out of things to do for sure. And places to eat. I wash my paintbrush off because I got some glitter in my my blue glitter in my paintbrush so I had to wash it off and you, like I said y'all probably won't be able to see this glitter this white on camera because it dries clear it just leaves the glitter behind it's kind of, it smells like Mod Podge went to Dollywood yeah they say the lights at Dollywood is beautiful too but um we just went to Kate's Cove and saw all the, you know, saw the deer. We saw some bear and some deer. Um, let the kids kind of do their thing. And we went to the aquarium. I like that. I like fish. Um, I mean, there's just, we went, walked up and down the strip. We rode the little chairlift thing. And the suspension bridge. Let me tell y'all about that suspension bridge. I don't know if y'all heard about it. But it's, my son will have to tell me. It's like three football fields long, I think, is how long it is. And it's a suspension bridge. It's on a rope. You know what I'm talking about? And so you're over this big ravine, and it sways. So I was like, well, I can do this. It'll be fine. No. 
Lee got about not quite halfway. And me and Chase turned around and came right back. <laughs> because there's a whole there's a whole bunch of people on it. So that makes you nervous anyway. Plus you look down after you kind of get out a little ways and you're 150 feet off the ground and that thing is swaying. Like I told Deidre, I said it felt like I was standing in a rowboat, a little bitty rowboat in a in real choppy water, and I'm trying to stand up in the boat. That's how it felt because it's swaying and then people are walking and moving and the whole thing is shaking and it's swaying and I, nope, 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 nope. I came right back to safety. <laughs> I said, nope. Now it's pretty, but Lee was like, nope, 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 nope. I just got, I got scared. <laughs> so I came back, but it's pretty. Chase did too. He was like, nope, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Okay, so there's our peppermint. So I did the sides with the glitter. I know y'all can't see the white, plus it has to dry and you really can't see. It's kind of like Mod Podge, it's kind of milky at first. Um, see, I'll show you, let me open the bottle and show you what it looks like. It looks like white paint, but it's got real little bitty, 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 um, real fine glitter in it. It's really pretty, but it's folk art, extreme glitter. I think they have it at Walmart. See that label? It kind of looks like that. It's really pretty. Um, it's on here, but I don't think y'all can see it. I don't think, because that light is so bright. I don't think y'all can see it, but it's on the white. Maybe a little bit y'all can see it, but it's really pretty. Okay, so now I've got to get rid of all this sparkleness. Oh, they shut it down with thunder and lightning. I saw a picture uh, today where somebody showed it on Facebook where it, uh, it was snowing. And I was like, I know it's not snowing there because I just left there. And uh, it ain't snowing. But it was, you know, it must have been an old picture, but it was a video of the bridge. It was beautiful. They have it all lit up and everything, and it's really pretty. But, you know, I went halfway across. Not even halfway. Nope. I didn't make it to the glass. Nope, didn't even go that far. Test results back. Yeah, I, I'm okay with heights. I guess the older I've gotten, it just gets worse. So, <laughs> I don't know, because normally I wouldn't be like that. But the lift thing, Chase didn't want to do that. And then I finally talked to him and I said, you're getting on it. And we got on it and went up and uh, he was fine. But that's where the suspension bridge is. So you have to go up the lifts to get to the actual suspension bridge. Um, thank you, Susan. Okay, so now I'm going to take the one that I already did earlier. Here's the one I just did. It's still wet. And like I said, it takes that paint a while to dry because it doesn't have anything to soak into because it's on that styrofoam. It just has to dry. Um, but I did heat it, hit it with the, this one with the heat gun a little bit. Thank you, Frida. But, um, and it helped it. Just don't melt your styrofoam. But I just let it kind of dry. But you can do the other side if you choose to, but you probably won't see the other side of mine. And I've gotten red glitter on my white, but it's okay. So now you can go to Dollar Tree when you get your styrofoam and they have this wonderful clear wrap. And this is what the label looks like. It's called Cello Wrap. It's just clear, um, clear, like plastic, but it's not plastic like this. It's more like a, um, I don't know what, what exactly it is, but it's, it's not, it's not as flimsy as that, but it's similar. Okay. So I've already cut a piece off because I made some, another one of what we're going to do. So now we're going to put our, peppermint. I'm going to put him face down and hope to God that he's dry. And, um, just like that. Cause we're going to, we're going to wrap him up just like he is in, um, okay. I will. My husband just said, everybody's wanting the vacuum. So I will post the link for the vacuum when I get off. And so you can get the one that I have off Amazon because it sucks up that, that glitter just like nobody's business and I don't have to sit here and rake it off into the garbage. Okay, so I'm gonna put my cellophane down or whatever this stuff is called and I'm just gonna kinda cut to where I think that um, it's big enough to fit to wrap it up like a piece of candy. 
Let's see. So yeah, that vacuum. Lots of people have gotten the vacuum and they're like, oh my gosh, how did I make it without this thing? That's how I feel. Okay. So I got my plastic and my glitter is coming off of my peppermint. Let's just vacuum it off my paper. It's wonderful. Okay. So now I'm going to take it and I'm going to fold it over. I hadn't practiced this part. <laughs> Acetate. Is that the word for it? Okay. So I'm going to take scotch tape because that's really the, well, I may not have to have any tape to be honest. Because if we tie these sides, I don't know if I should tie, I'm thinking I should tie them up with um, something. So I think I'm going to, over fruit baskets. Yeah, they put those baskets up with them or whatever they do with it. This is just Rick Rack. I think it came from Walmart. It's just on a little card. Now I'm trying to find the end. Why do they do this to you and make it, oh, there it is. Make it difficult. So this is just green. I'm going to tie my ends up with that just to give it a little bit of, a little extra something, something. Instead of twisting it. So I'm just going to like gather up my cellophane. And I am going to just tie it off. And that gives it a little bitty, um, little bitty punch of green there on the end. You could use raffia. You could use whatever you wanted to. I have raffia sitting out here, the, the colored raffia. But I'm going to leave my little strings hanging off. And then i got to do the other side. But these would look so cute in a dough bowl. I might have to put these in my dough bowl. Or, but you can make all sizes. If you could find something that was a different, a little bit smaller than this and, big, you know, bigger, you could do... Oh, Monica, you have the ladybug one? I love my vacuum. Love, love, love it. And it ha it charges with USB. So if you buy one, I'm going to show you in a second. If you buy one and you can't find the cord, it's in the top. Mine's not in here, but let's see. I thought it would. You'll be like, where's the cord? Oh, here it goes. It just slides off to the top like that. And your cord is stored in here. And then it charges with that little USB right there. You just plug it to your computer or to your little block for your iPhone or whatever or your phone. Okay. So here is our peppermint. So I think I'm going to cut some of this off. So it won't be so big. But I think this is so stinking cute, y'all. I mean, that looks just like a peppermint. I mean, if this was 50 cents, this was... This roll of stuff was a dollar, and I mean, the paint and the glitter I had, and then I just tied it with some of this little Rick Rack. Let me cut these off. These are longer. That, I'm OCD because that over there is longer than this side. So, how cute is that? How cute, cute, cute. Curling ribbon, yes. Curling ribbon or even like this paper raffia like I have from Nashville Wraps. This would be great if you could do the white, the red, and the green and tie it up and make it super cute. Um, I can't wait to wrap this one up because it's going to be so cute. Um, so that's our little peppermint. It's so easy and so very inexpensive and you could just stick it up in your tree and it would just make a big statement. Um... I order in a dough bowl and just kind of lay them all down and do, just do different colors. And you could do the green peppermint. You could do like I did the turquoise and the red. I'm like, I'm like out on a limb doing the turquoise and red. But it would be so cute. You could even do your stripes, do some small and then some big. You could do them all different kinds of ways and make a whole bunch of them. Like I have like the turquoise glitter. I have green out here. I have red. And then I have this that's got all these candy colors. Wouldn't that be cute to do a whole bunch of them with all the different colors of glitter? That would be so stinking cute, y'all. Isn't that cute? So cute. And it's lightweight. And you could you could hang them from the ceiling at different lengths or whatever you wanted to do. They'd be so cute. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to do another one. Another kind of candy. And I just dumped that over there into the bucket of glitter. So I better, let me set this. I got so much on this table, like always. Um, okay. So, get this paint up before I get it on me. 
All right, so we're going to take a pool noodle, pool noodle, okay? I've had this one, I've used it for several different things. So um, this is what's left of it, and it is blue, but it's not gonna matter. They do have the red and white ones in the Dollar Tree, so you can get the Christmas ones if you want, but it's not gonna matter what I'm gonna do to it, it's not gonna matter. So I'm gonna cut, I don't know, that's roughly about six inches, okay? Throw my pool needle down. There's so much you can do with these. They're so much fun. Have y'all seen the lollipops where people twirl them all up um, and make them like a lollipop and they put the broom handle in it like a stick? So cute. Okay. And I've already done one of these today, so I had to practice. <laughs> this is so simple, y'all. It's not even funny. Okay. So you're going to put your wrapping paper. This is wrapping paper. This came from the Dollar Tree, too. I went today. To get, I just hit my my light stand with the wrapping ball paper roll and it's going. Um, so I just, I went to Dollar Tree and got this paper. It looks like candy uh, when I picked up my clear wrapping. And so I'm going to go, this has squares on it. So I'm going like three, four inches down. That's bigger than my pool noodle. So then I know I'm going to go about four inches down that way. So I'm gonna make me a slit so I know where to cut. And then en just enough to curl it over to the other side. Okay, these lines help, it's wonderful. So I'm gonna cut, and you could do this in any wrapping paper. It'd be cute, snowflakes or blue or green, buffalo check, It'd be so stinking cute. All right, so we're done with that. Look how long this wrapping paper is. It's like a big, long roll of wrapping paper. It's super long. Okay, so easy peasy, okay? So I got my noodle. Got a lot on both sides, like four inches on both sides. And I'm, I am going to take my scotch tape, and I'm going to tape it down here. This is so easy. It's just ridiculous. Um, so here... And then you're just gonna roll that up there. This time I'm gonna take my tape and make the roll it back on itself so I can stick it under the edge where it doesn't show. And then I'm just gonna pull it up on that, just like that. Now, I did one earlier and I put the clear, the clear on top of the wrapping paper, and you could do that, and you would get the little shiny plastic look, or you could just um, you could just tie it off just like it is. You don't even have to put the clear over it. I just wanted to do that to see if it made a difference. But you just put your, if you find the end of your noodle, and then I just got this little silver string stuff. I'm hoping it doesn't tear the paper. You kind of crunch it down. Because I did it with the plastic on top the first time. And this looks just like a big piece of candy. Okay. So then I'm going to cut those off. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Thank y'all for sprinkling. Um, whoop, stuck to my roll. So see, we have that. And you could fluff this out and make it look just like you want it to look. And then just tie this just like this, same way. You could do a whole bunch of these and put them in your tree. Very inexpensive, but it has a big impact. It's just so cute. Especially if you were doing gingerbread men and all kinds of different candies. I just think it's so cute. Look how stinking cute this is. Very, very easy. Now, another thing you could do, if you don't wanna use a pool noodle, Use a paper towel roll. Use a toilet paper roll. Use what you have. Just you take your wrapping paper. The inside of the roll of the wrapping paper, you could use it. Anything like that. Um, and use, you, I mean, this one, you could get two out of this one, or you can make them smaller. Um, but you could do the plastic over it like I did on this one. I mean, there's not, you probably really can't even tell a difference except for it's shiny. Uh, it might protect it a little bit. If, if, so it wouldn't tear, 
But yeah, you could put candy in it for the kids. If you did the paper towel rolls, you could put candy down in here, cut, you know, wrap it up and they could tear it open and it had candy in it or little toys or little prizes or something. Um, so there's that piece of candy. But let me show y'all something else. So I'm strolling through the Dollar Tree and, you know, because I got to look at everything when I go in there. I'm not just going to look at um, what I'm looking for. I've got to look at everything else. And um, I'm going to make some little ones. So this is my polka dot fabric. I think I used it for something one night. So how about these? <laughs> so, of course, I saw these rollers pink sponge rollers that we all wore in our hair when we were a little girl. And I'm going to take the sponge part off the little plasticky thing. And I'm going to make some candy with my little curlers. With my, I'm going to cut it with pink and shears this time. So let's see. And you can make them miniature. Make little bitty ones. Let's see. So... So there's so many different ways you could do this. And it fill this fill a whole bowl up with these things. And it would be so stinking cute. Let's see. I'm gonna see how far I need to cut. And I did not turn my hot glue gun on because I didn't think I was gonna need it, but I did it. I need it. But I'm gonna tape it just for purposes. Okay, so there's our little roller. So say so you get you get eight in a pack of four dollar. So, get you some fabric from, and you know, something else you could use too, and I almost got one, and I thought, no, because I'll just use fabric, um, is those little scarves from the Dollar Tree that they have right now, the Christmas scarves, you could do, um, you could do that instead of using fabric if you don't have any fabric. Um, I'm going to tape this for sake of, because I don't have my glue gun on. <laughs> And I'm going to put some tape there. Let's see. Hold on. i get it fixed. <laughs> I need three fingers. Three hands. I need my glue gun. But for the sake of waiting for it to heat up, we're going to just do it this way. And it's not going to stick. <laughs> it's not going to stick. Okay. Stick. I'm going to make you stick. Stick. Glue dots would work good too. So there's our curler. And then let's see what I got over here. I got this cool little, this is some cool little stuff. I don't even know where I got it. Maybe Walmart? I don't know. I've had it for a while. So, and you do the same thing to the ends. Just gather it up like a, like you're going to twist, you could twist it since this isn't going to tear since it's fabric. And then just tie that around the ends. Super, super cute. And if you did a whole bunch of pat different patterns, it would be um, just really, really cute in like a glass a glass container and a dough bowl. Just really, 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 really cute. And this is wired, so I don't even have to, um, I don't even have to tie it very much. All right, my tape is not wanting to hold it. I need my glue gun. But... We're gonna, I'm just going to make it do for now. Okay, where's my... <laughs> Thank you, Pat. I see stuff in different places, and, you know, or I see an ornament like this or whatever, but I um, I saw that girl do the big one on TikTok, and I had already planned on doing it, and I'm like, I'm doing that tomorrow night. I knew what I'm doing. And I made this end kind of short. Hold on. Let me push my curler down. There we go. But you could use any kind of rolls inside of your um, inside of your aluminum foil, inside of your wrapping paper, toilet paper, paper towel, whatever roll you have. Just get kind of um, creative and, you know, say, oh, well, I can use that for this or, you know, and recycle it because nobody's ever going to know. You're not, you don't have to have um, these curlers if you already have fabric and stuff like that. I made this kind of short. I didn't center my curler in the middle. Cut that off and cut that off. But how cute is that, y'all? And you could just do different, um, 
different pattern fabrics and they would be so cute. Or those scarves at Dollar Tree would be so cute and just do, because they have, I did look at them. They have like green and red and green and, and red and white and all that. And you could have that. And you could have your, your big candy like this. See, it's just super light. And stick them in your tree. And then where's our, I set it over here. I can't reach it. This, this is my fave. But you could so do, you could do this one like this. But you could take this paint it white with chalk paint or something, and then, you know, draw you some lines all the way around, or you could put red tape or whatever, and it would be so cute, and do it like peppermint, like this. So, so cute. What they could use old medicine bottles for. Oh, you could, yeah, you could put a medicine bottle in there and make that, um, put a, the bottom part of it in there. It would work. <laughs> Thank you, Lou. Yes, I love crafting. I do. Um, the one directly behind my head. This one? Yes, TikTok's amazing, Susanna. It is. So, if you get on TikTok and you've never been on TikTok before, um, don't blame me. <laughs> Two or three hours have been in the past, and you'll be still looking at TikTok. Especially if you get into all the crafting stuff. Because there are crafters on there. And it's just amazing. It's not all bad stuff, I promise. Um, so This snowman. Oh, where's his other part? I left his other part of his stand over here. <laughs> he come, his stand comes off. So when you store him, he's flat. I guess this is the one she's talking about. The smaller one. Which one is she talking The one you started to grab. This one, that one, he's just one I cut out playing around, cut him out, and I just kind of fixed him. But now I guess y'all want that one too. <laughs> oh yeah, Betty, see you could use Pringle cans. Yes, that would be so awesome. You've been on for like five or six hours a day. Susanna, that little man comes on there and tells you, now I know you've been scrolling for too long. You need to get off and go to bed. Yes, TikTok is, it's very, that's why they call it TikTok, because you, the clock just goes TikTok, 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 and you have no, you know, have no idea how long time has passed, and you're like, oh my gosh, I gotta get off. Um, this one, or the, this one, uh, he is like wedged in there, there we go, tearing up everything, that one. This is, I did a tutorial on him about a week or so ago, I guess. Um, that is a table leg from Lowe's. And they have small, this is the small, and they have small, and they have a medium, and they have a large. Um, uh, no, Lou, you don't get timed out, but the little guy just comes on the screen and he goes, Now, I know you love looking at TikTok, but um, a lot of time is passing that you really, really need to... Um, get off, you know, and go, go to bed. It's late or whatever. Um, but I mean, you can swipe right past him if you want to, but, uh, he just comes on there and tells you that if you've been on there for a long, long time. Nope. The one I had this one. Y'all don't miss anything. I can't get anything past y'all. He's one that I cut way before Christmas. And when I was playing around with, um, stuff that I was going to put out, you know, for, to sell and he I just cut him out and was playing around so he's just a snowman he's just a plain snowman <laughs> the man just comes on yeah it's a, literally a man that comes on he smiles really big and he goes I know you love TikTok but you've got to go you've got to go um to bed it's time to go to bed so anyway yeah it's funny I've seen him a couple of times. I haven't seen him a bunch. Yes, I am I am in the process of restocking. When I get off here, I'm going to restock some stuff that I've cut. Um, this snowman? Katrina. It's probably a good thing that you don't get on TikTok because, um, yeah. it's. Uh, I like to watch the people dancing and the funny dogs and the cats and 
some of that stuff, I mean, I'll sit there and just belly laugh um, at some of that stuff. It's so hilarious. And then the crafting. No spindle or peppermint. Pe no, the spindle or peppermint. This, this, this. The buffalo plaid one. Okay, so it's got to be this one. Just bring them all down. <laughs> I've only got as many snowmen as I have gnomes, y'all. Gnomes. I saw where Brooke um, with Refab, she did a thing where it says, guess how many gnomes I have in my house. I think I'm going to do that once I get all my Christmas tree and stuff up so y'all can guess how many I have. Because they are starting to take over my house. <laughs> um... The smaller one. Okay, is that all the snowman or is it these down here? The gnome behind you. Yes, him. I can cut more of him too. He is my, he's my fave. This is my fave. Ain't he cute? <laughs> he's so stinking cute. See, all that's 3D on his hat. Oh, the one with the leaves in the hat and the holly berries. This one. That one. Oh, you're okay, Dana. You can catch the replay. We made pepper. We made candy out of a pool noodle, and we put peppermint out of styrofoam discs from Dollar Tree and wrapped them in cellophane. And I made little bitty candies out of hair curlers. I don't do TikTok. <laughs> yeah, it's probably a good thing you don't. But I love TikTok. The one. Oh, him. That one. He's just the snowman with his little hat and his nose and his scarf. <laughs> yeah, you always make me de-shelf. It's okay, because I'll put it back up. Um, oh, yeah, Tanya, you're going to get on TikTok, and you'll be messaging me at 1 o'clock in the morning going, thanks. <laughs> um, and everybody's like, oh, they're going to steal your information from China and all this about... But if you read any terms of service of any app that you download for your phone or whatever, you have to agree to all that stuff, too, with any other app. So, um, the one you made before that one. Have I got any? <laughs> have I got all the snowmen down? I'm trying to look what y'all see. I know y'all see these. Love the polka dots. Yeah, that's scrapbook paper. I just put scrapbook paper on it. Snowman with arms. See, I want the snowman with arms. <laughs> oh, Debbie, you're so sweet. Yes, you need to cut him. Him? He's not really smaller. He's. I guess he is smaller. Santa, got my snowman in your Santa. Good. Um, if if you ordered something from me up until last Wednesday, it all got mailed out today. I mailed out all the new gnomes. Yes, Lynn, I have. I mailed those out before I left. The only thing I didn't mail out was the ornaments they got. Um, the ornaments that were sold that Wednesday night when I was live. I mailed those, all of that out today. That took me all day. So, I came back because I, um, I knew I had to do all that too. <laughs> You're two here and you better get to bed. Thank you, Tanya. Is that all y'all want to see? Just do them all. Just, you mean just bring it all down? I know y'all saw these. Y'all saw these little guys. If y'all hadn't seen those, it's a pepper mill. And I did a video on those a couple weeks ago. I haven't painted the gigantuous one. I haven't, I haven't attempted. Um, yeah, Susanna, I, that's what I say. There is many sides to TikTok. Um, and I, I only watch like, it asks you when you first sign on, like, what are your likes, like, people dancing or animals and that kind of stuff. And once you start watching, it's kind of like Facebook. Once you start watching, like, the crafters and stuff, then it'll start showing you more of that stuff. Um, but the crafting, I love to watch all that because it's really fast. It's only a couple minutes of video, so, you you know, it's really fast and sped up and... Um, Peggy, Peggy, message me when we get off, and so I'll remember, and I will make sure 
I did, Dana. I had a wonderful time. Thank you. I did. I love the Merry Christmas night. Yes, I'll cut some more of these this week. Um, thanks for showing you all the crafts. I just got it all down. Anything else y'all want to see? You missed the name of the vacuum. I will post a link for it if y'all want me to. Um, it's from Amazon and it's USB. I got to open it again because every time I do this, every time. The top, so when you get yours and you'll be wondering where the cord is, hold on. It slides a certain way. Well, there it goes. So the top slides open like that and your cord is in here, which mine's not. It's plugged into the thing. And then um, it charges by USB. So you don't have batteries. And um, it just vacuums up all my little glitter. And then you just open up. And I'm scared I'm going to spill it. Open up the bottom. You twist it. And all of your fuzz and dirt and sawdust or glitter or whatever is down in the bottom. And um, I just vacuum off my craft table with it. And it's awesome. Instead of raking everything into the trash. We're staying home, Susanna, for Thanksgiving. That's my niece, y'all. <laughs> y'all wondering. Um, you told me to take them all down. What else do you want to see? Y'all see these. Y'all saw me make those. He's my fave. He's my new fave. So he's going to look good with my peppermint, isn't he? I'll make me some more um, some more pep uh, turquoise and red peppermint. And I just got red paint on my fingers. Um, he's going to look good. Yeah, okay. Jenny, when I get off, I'll post the link to the, to the vacuum. Because it's telling you, you'll wonder how in the world you ever made it without it. Because it's awesome. Because I used to just sit here and sweep my table off with my hand. And break it all off in the garbage. And half of it would go on the floor. And this little thing right here is wonderful. Thank you, Tammy, for posting the link. All right, guys, so I'm going to hop off, and I'm fixing to go to my store, and I'm going to um, restock some stuff in there, and um, uh, y'all can go see what I got. And um, I got some uh, another surprise coming this week that I'm probably going to do for Small Business Saturday, and um, but I'll give y'all some information about that later but i'll probably come live again this week even though it's thanksgiving i'm probably going to come live again um i know friday for sure but i may come live another time this week just because you know everybody's kind of sitting at home and eating turkey and you know just want to look at your phone and have a turkey coma so um you have the ladybug one day that's awesome good night susanna all right, guys, I'm going to hop off. I'm going to go do that to my shop, and I hope y'all have a good night. Y'all, if you're traveling for Thanksgiving, y'all, please, please, please be safe and do your social distancing and wash your hands and all that stuff. Um, so I will see y'all probably another day this week. I don't know yet when, and um, I'll be seeing y'all. So y'all have a good night, okay, friends? See you later. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.